Hello everyone, this is Chris Martel, and in this quick tutorial, I'm going to illustrate how to make these simple embossed and debossed neomorphic effects in KLWP. It's just a basic explanation, but it should be enough to demonstrate the main idea. I'm going to work on the editor in landscape mode to visualize it better, but it applies to portrait mode. First, I recommend you to do your global colors before you start. In this case, we're going to make six global colors that I already set up and work well with this effect. Three for the light version and three for the dark version. But you can play around with these values if you want more shine or darker shades. Okay, now that the globals are set, let's add an overlap group because you're gonna need to add padding to the shapes. And having shapes in the root layer doesn't allow you to add padding. By the way, padding is the space outside the very edge of elements. Let me show you. As you can see, if you don't add padding, the shadow gets cut off at the edges. Ok, so now that you have an overlap group, create a shape inside it. And we're going to name it Base. In this case, we're going to work with a square. Let's make it a little bigger and add some round corners and color. Now let's copy and paste that shape and call it shine. Change the color to completely transparent and add a shadow with these values. Move the shape to the top left by adding more padding in the opposite sides. Go back and drag it up in the list. Let's copy and paste that shape and call it shade.
different color values and moving the shape to the bottom right. Go back and drag it up in the list. This is very important. The topmost elements in the list will show behind or underneath. In this case, we want both shine and shade to go right below the base. Okay, it's taking form now, but we still need to do the last step, which is to go to the background and change the color to the global base color. There, now you can see the whole effect. See, pretty simple, and it works with any shape. Let's change it to a circle. Now, let's quickly change the values to dark mode. There you go, looks nice. I personally like the dark mode better. Let's stay in dark mode and I'll show you the way I use to do the debossing effect. Let's use the same shapes, but we're gonna modify a few things. First, let's go back to square and change all three shapes with the following values. It's mostly changing the shapes from fill to stroke. Here, in the last part, you can use the base color or change the filter to clear, which will delete everything behind that shape and make everything else visible. You're gonna have to adjust and play around with these values depending on the size and shapes you're gonna use on your setup. And there you have it. I believe this quick tutorial shows the main idea but let me know in the comments if you have any questions about it or any other design topics and I'll try to make a video about it. I'm gonna keep making more design tutorials for KLWP among other things. Please like and subscribe if you found this tutorial useful. That's all for today. Thanks for watching y hasta la próxima.